uh, you want to get to our last caller. Oh, we have another one. Yes, we do. It is none other than uh, Inqu- IQ, Inquisitive Country. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad yourselves. Good, Doing good, good. Awesome. What did you want to talk about? Sweet. <laughs> well, yeah, we I forgot that was our topic. Yeah, well, I mean, you bring up the topic, you know, we, we come in here with the words. I mean, like <laughs> what what happened? Something happened on my end. Comfortable. Wait, what? Something happened on my end. Like I, I missed part of the conversation. It went and then you responded to him. Wait, okay. Can, say, I can say something. Can you I can hear him now? Oh, but it okay. was really weird. I felt like I I don't know what happened. I, was that just me, guys? I don't know. Like you responded yeah. to him, but all I heard was so I was like, what the hell? How come I didn't hear him? Maybe okay. say I said sex. I didn't even hear you say sex. So yeah. what did you initially like what did you oh, first say other than hi? Uh that he was <laughs> Oh, I I just said sex. <laughs> oh, you literally said sex. The topic of the show. Forget about it. Forget about it. Okay. That's just I all I heard was Forget about it. moving on. I didn't hear that. X. Okay. Well, you, you need to be comfortable with your sexuality. We are like just immersed and bred to be shameful of our sexuality. Like yep. it's this big fucking secret that everybody has and nobody talks about it. Like <laughs> it's absurd to me. You, it's, you know, your sexuality, it's, it's like your fingerprint. You know, it's you and it's like only you and you're the only person that likes exactly what you like. There can be many other people that could like a lot of the same things that you do, but you're the only you and you got to figure that out. You know, you got to have like the fortitude to take pride and, you know, be comfortable with what you do enjoy, but the flexibility to be able to explore something new. Right. That is outside of your realm of knowledge. You know, like you just, you just, you know, got to try stuff and it, okay, this isn't for me, you know, assuming that you're not, you know, going 50 shades of gray straight from, you know, Sunday school, that might be a bit of a shock. <laughs> so you take steps into what you're willing to do in life and what you're willing to, you know, embrace. But, you know, it's, it, it's really just all you. It's, it's your thoughts. It's your opinions. It's your brain. It's your life. It's your fucking sexuality. It's yours. Own it. And that's who you are. And if, you know, it's, think of trying to tell somebody what restaurant they need to eat at. You wouldn't do that fucking rude and that's just dinner you know how to choose a life partner or what you know the the sexuality is a much bigger part so if i'm not going to be rude about somebody's meal i'm certainly not going to try to dictate how somebody should control a larger portion of their life that's all them that's their prerogative totally i mean then you know, we get into compatibility, right? That's the thing. Right? That's, that's, that's the big word for the night. It's compatibility. You know, being sexually compatible with somebody. Uh, it, it, you know, it, that's always a good thing, especially if you're planning on having sex with them. But <laughs> try being very sexually compatible with somebody that you are not emotionally compatible with. Oh, it's a mess. <laughs> yeah, it can be. Um, it can be. At least it can yeah i was about to put that disclaimer on there it can be a mess the i've encountered very little in life that is without exception all right uh, <laughs> something that lingers in the background that say oh, no not this time and no 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 not not if this and that there's always a way out um but you know emotional compatibility it plays a big role in sex yeah uh, because i mean that like you know, me, I'm not hung like a fucking horse. I hold my own, but, you know, I'm not going to brag about <laughs> that, fucking That's anything. a good way to put it. I, uh, I know, like that I, phrasing. I don't look like Brad Pitt. There you go. I don't look like Brad Pitt, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not 
told that I'm a hideous person, and you know, it's, it's fucking me. I can't do anything about it anyway, so you know, I'm kind of stuck with it. So it's just, that's just me. It's the only me it's ever going to be. So I'm happy with who I am. I'm happy with my sexuality, and I, I know my strong points. You know, which is the emotional connection. There's a very, there's a very good chance to, uh, um, you know, get to, to fine tune the that passion, that emotional connection during sex. It's I mean, because that, that's my thing. You know, I'm the, you know, the looking in the eyes, that deep, passionate shit, and, you know, just getting into somebody's head because they're going to be in yours. Mm-hmm. So passion I, right there. I, I, I do like some, some, uh, see, I, so why am I so nervous? Um, I, I like two, let's just say I like two different types. I love like the, the intimate, like, passionate kind like you're describing as well like it's it's so different than you know what else like I like. up. Uh, yeah but uh you know there's diversity is important or is yeah. diversity the right word <laughs> no I'm sorry, the right I'm just, word? like i know what you mean yeah. but i'm just kind of like Hmm. I feel like there's a better word for what you're describing. IQ. <laughs> what's a better word for that? You like to spice Someone it up. Has, uh, more complex. Somebody who has um, a little bit of spice or flavor to whatever they're doing, because there's there's a lot of set types that you can just stereotypically just come up with in your head, and we call this boring. You, you need a little bit of flavor. You need your own spin on things, if need be. If you're not just going to try to be spicy about something, uh, you know, that's good to explore. But, you know, you got to put your own spin on things and make it – own it. Now, that's pretty much all I can say just about fucking anything in this world is just fucking own it. <laughs> yeah. Grab it by the reins and just, and just ride that shit. If you're going to hop on, if you're going to hop on, you know, do it good. <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm totally. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean like it like that. I just was saying like I agree. Never mind. Well, I, I wasn't. Think we know. <laughs> you learned something else about Hannah tonight. No, no, it's not like that at all. It's not like that at all. I'm sorry. I was just saying like I meant to say like yeah, yes, if, if like gonna... yes, sir. But like it came out like yes, sir, and like <laughs> I and the dream. I'm just saying, if you're going to hop in the ring, you get on your motherfucking J-O-B and do that shit right. Nobody likes boring sex. Uh, get on the motherfucking J-O-B. Sorry. That sounded no, cool. I mean, <laughs> we, 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 we sex shame. I mean, some people like it. I don't even want to say less flavorful because I feel like less flavorful comes with the impact that's, that it means not good. So what would like, be the best way to describe more boring sex? Vanilla. <laughs> How boring. What? <laughs> No, yeah. sometimes, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes I just like <laughs> feel like having some good old vanilla prolonged eye contact time, and yes, dude. it's just nice. Well, you know what? That can both be boring sex and great sex. It depends yeah. on the person, depends on the mood, depends on the on the on the individual desires. Not only just the person, but the situation as well. Exactly. Uh, it's that could be. It's it's. It's opinion, <laughs> you know, like it can both be terrible and great. Somebody who just got out of a relationship where somebody was just a little bit too much more kinky than they were. And, you know, then they find a new partner and, you know, they just have straight up missionary, you know, you know, boom, boom. And it's like, <laughs> they're like, oh, that was great. I'm not bleeding. <laughs> you know, right? like that was great. I'm just was feeling right. like just. Like snuggling. <laughs> I mean, and don't think oh, I because you know you like the gimp suit on Friday that you know that's what you got to do on a Tuesday. No, it's like it's just whatever you're into, and the mood hits, and the situation is right. Fucking go for it. So, oh, IQ, we do have to wrap it up in a moment, but a comment came in that I'd actually you're usually good at addressing these things, so I think you'd be the perfect person okay. to address it. But wait, before I get to that, there's one other comment I want to get to. Uh, Jaded Atheist says, I love Sunday's lineup. Great shows. So I'm not sure if you're aware of the other two shows on Sunday. So before Talk Heathen, uh, Jenna Belk and myself go live on uh, YouTube.com slash The Ethan and Jenna Show. It is a mental health call-in show. Uh, each week we'll talk about mental health. 
and a different topic. Uh, we are not mental health professionals. No, really. I'm going to have to check that one out. We just think it's, uh, you know, uh, important to talk about. And this Sunday we'll be talking about mental health and medication. And then also in a couple of weeks, I'm starting a new call-in show. It will be at 7 p.m. after AXP ends. And it is going to be, uh, it's called AVT. It'll have an atheist and a theist co-host. Co -host. We already did one episode with an atheist and a Christian. Um, and I, I thought it went off really well. And atheists seemed to enjoy it because they got to call in and challenge a theist. Anyways, Ooh. to get to uh, the question I want you to answer, I, Eric Lynn says, it's hard to be comfortable with yourself physically when your cons outweigh your pros. IQ oh, wow. is very much your area. So please. Well, what I mean, what what are you, what are your cons? Like, you know, what are you comparing yourself to? Are a you a actor? murderer? So these people, these people are most of these people are fucking rich and they're ripped because they go to the gym, you know, six times a week and oh, genetics has a lot to do with it. If you're not that person. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. If you're in a competition, yes. Like, you know, you're going for like Mr. Universe or something like that. Yes, you're going to be slightly, you know, uh, involved in what everybody else looks like because, you know, you want to try to beat that. But no, nobody can, you know, be a better you. Uh, your, your cons are just what you think is, I mean, of course, you know, if you try to masturbate, you don't have any hands, you're going to get creative. Now, the, that, that, that could possibly be a problem. But, you know, what what's wrong with just being you and what's wrong with telling anybody to fuck off that doesn't like it. Yeah. That's having a healthy relationship with yourself. Is I mean, important. how many people have you stood up for in your life? You know, somebody getting bullied or somebody talking shit to one of your friends and you, you step in, you say something, you got to be able to do that for yourself too. When you're bullying yourself, you have to know when it's happening so you can step the fuck in and say, hey, you, fuck you. <laughs> no. Right. IQ, you need a motivational TikTok. Seriously. <laughs> Anytime I talk to IQ, I always just like kind of like get like, like introspective and like quiet because I just like, I'm like always like digesting it. Like I, mm -hmm. I really take it in and I'm like, huh. Okay. <laughs> I think he has a lot to offer, and that's why he needs a. Uh, he always sends these inspirational quotes, so he needs a motivational TikTok. Um, anyways, IQ. Um, just Perfect. to wrap it up, where can everyone check you out at? I know you've been on the perspective I'll before, find you. <laughs> but yeah, that's true. IQ does find you. He found me. Just like turn on I, any any like like. I was about damn near 80% of all the atheist content on YouTube and you'll probably see me in the chat. That's true. So. And, uh, I, I remember, uh, IQ was the first person to add me this, like, uh, like this group of atheist YouTubers. And I felt so special. I'm like, oh, someone added me to a group <laughs> with atheist YouTubers. I'm like, this is so cool. And then I saw who was in the group and I'm like, dude, I, I, I get to talk to these people. Like, it's so cool. Like even, IQ right now, like as long as next month happens and I come out there, I'm still like, oh my God, I'm going to get to see Hannah, Holy Kool-Aid, Eric Murphy, V, Jenna, Belk. Like I'm still like, dude, <laughs> this is going to be the coolest thing ever. Like I will legitimately be starstruck and be like, am I actually hanging out with these people? We're going to have so much fucking fun. Yes. It's all because of you. Right here. Those, uh, looks like we made it moments. <laughs> yeah. No, really. All right. Well, IQ, thank you for calling. And uh, as usual, you thank you for your motivational stuff. Well, thank you for giving me the platform to spill it. I enjoy it. All right. We'll talk to you later. See you.